you you said okay you are talking about the difference between belief and faith yes and um you state that you had this vision about this bridge and my thoughts were yes you are talking about something that is called a mental power like being convinced of something have faith in something and that is giving you strength power the power of faith yes it means but it didn't give me no power of faith because i never believed in it i just looked up in the, the clouds uh, and i said okay god um i'll put you to the test there you say um if we um believe in you and um you know we hold your covenant then you have uh, an obligation to give us whatever we want i'm asking you please tell me what the difference is between faith and belief because i've asked 20 christians around this place i've asked three pastors and none of them have got a fucking clue and so how could anybody have faith if they don't know what it is that's what i i was asking and so i had to go into my own investigation three pastors couldn't tell me uh, what the difference was really and what the full magnitude of faith was other than um well uh you know it's something it's just like belief only um you know you just have it or you you, you don't i suppose and uh, it's kind of well that, that doesn't answer my question you know oh nothing nothing like you, you know because um i could say then if you don't know what faith is well let's just supplant hope instead of faith and all you're doing is hoping that there's a god hoping that there's jesus loves you so what do you feel about that because look the thing is is edward i've got a very critical philosophical uh, mind and uh, i'm looking into the uh, the etymology of words and i'm looking into how we use them why we use them and i want to know who knows what they, these words mean when they're using them and every time i accosted a christian and i said look you've got all these highlights and underscores in your bible your bible's full of it you must know what the bible's about tell me what the difference is between faith and belief oh 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 now you've got me and then they start flicking through the book and they try and remember where they see faith 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 oh let me get back to you on that and i'm like are you are you serious you say you have faith you say you believe in god and jesus and yet you don't know what it is you should be able to tell me very elaborately what faith means in in your estimation nobody can do that um so i just concluded it's just a crock of shit. it's hypnosis and no fucker knows they just go oh you've got to have faith because it's more it, it's more esoteric than just saying you just have a fantasy that god exists really because that's all it is that's all i could ever find fantasy hope faith all the same thing um okay i think we're just talking about definitions it's just a definition well what is get into the core essence i want to know what the core essence is what is the core essence of faith what is the core essence yeah what's the core essence what is what, what is faith because i could never have it for the love of money for my life i couldn't have it if somebody says to me your life depends on this now you've got to have faith in jehovah or you know we're gonna hang you i'm like well, we'll just the noose around my neck because that's not something a critical thinking person can have um so my faith is based on experiences period it's not based on a book a book no. can not give me any kind of faith no how could it it's it doesn't make sense exactly. it's just a book it doesn't make sense people um yes the believers they use the book the bible and they just believe and have faith it's like um you you are talking to yourself you know it's like self um su su how do you call it suggestion yeah auto suggestion auto suggestion mm -hmm. it's it's like that it's like that i believe in that i mean like for example god promises that this 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 and then you believe in this so so much so intensely that it gets a reality yes, in your you mind you hypnotize yourself it's like self-hypnosis yes it's 
Yes, it's the same. But this is not what I do. It's not what I do. But I can tell you that um, this is, of course, helpful for a person that is um, has like this attitude. It, a believer does not have the attitude to make experiences and then um, accordingly believe like, um, okay, it's, it's a bit difficult because if you make experiences, you would say, I know this. Yes. But you, ca you can make experiences <laughs> and experiences are not talking to you in a, normally they, they don't give you a very clear, specific um, knowledge. They, they are also like um, cryptic or you, you just, you have to understand what you experienced. This, you also have to use your mind. You have to use your brain. You have to think about this. What did I experience? What does it mean? So what, what would you, when you read that story of that illustration, when I asked God directly, standing outside, looking up at the clouds, and I said, it is your covenant that if we believe in you and we ask you something, then you have to deliver okay well i'm saying i believe in you okay so i mean to what degree you know you know uh, but to as much as i possibly can i'm giving you the benefit of the doubt and i've been praying and i've been confessing and i've been reading your book now for six months tell me what the difference between faith and belief is and then in an instant i saw a cloud configuration in the sky and it was a very very unusual one i've never seen one like it before and it was like a bridge it was like a d a d um on 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 its uh, uh, flat base and it was like this and it was all cloud and there was a portal like a bridge it was like a humpback bridge and instantly in my mind came this answer and the answer was very very fluid and it just spoke 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 faster than i could think it and it said to me uh, belief is um, something that we we uh, could be deemed to be fallible because if you uh, were a, a strong man and you believed you could swim over um, the ravine, this this canyon of water under this bridge, uh, and you failed, well, that would be belief. Belief is fallible. However, faith is the bridge over the canyon, uh, which there is no doubt about. And there's no doubt about it because you never actually get over the bridge.